Hey YouTube, it's Stan coming at you again. It's Saturday night, I'm bored, so I figured I'd sequence something just for the heck of it. Producer got to keep his chops up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some drums to a previously sequenced um, hip-hop classic, uh, the classic by Sugar Hill Gang, Apache. So what I'm going to do is I have all the horns and everything, uh, percussion bongos. I just don't have any drums because when I originally sequenced this, I sequenced just the parts and I left out the parts that we were going to be playing live. And I'll probably still take them out just to do um, it live when we do it live. But for right now, I'm just going to sequence um, some drums along with it just to um, demonstrate how I sequence. Okay, so first, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, sequence a kick. Yeah, that's probably a better kick right there. Okay. So, um, I'll just put it in record and get my four count. Okay, so now we have the kick um, sequence, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in a hi-hat, bring that up a little bit in volume, just kind of keeps it all together, keep the time, open hi-hat. So, and lastly, I'm going to add a snare. Uh, I think that one's cool. Okay. Four count. Start that over. I added some, forgot the beat doesn't even kick in right there. Okay. Here we go again. I just undid what I did, so it pretty much just starts back at zero.
Okay, so now you heard a glitch in that hi-hat, I'm sure. So I can easily find out where it is based on the um, numerals here. If it's right, it'll all be zero. Um, so down at the end, something got a little off. So I'll take it all the way down to the very last one. And I can see it right there. It's a couple of 120s, which it shouldn't be 120s. 120 means that they're late. So I'll just take it and I'll put all these 120s to zero. Matter of fact, I'll just redo uh, measure 21. So I'll undo, I'll delete. And I'll go to 21, see what it's playing. Okay, so it's playing that, that figure. do that okay I'll put it in overdub because I don't want to record over any um, previously recorded stuff okay so now finished product I'll bump up the kick a little bit beef it up put a little um, bottom a little bass on it by lower bring it up the low end to about 20 had some highs because it was 80s hip hop, so it did the kick did have uh, a lot more top end than they use now. Everything is so boomy now in hip hop. Is there really hip hop left? <laughs> anyway, and snare. Um, I'll solo the snare. Let's see what I got. Take some of the reverb off. A little bit more in your face without the, all that reverb. Put a little highs on it. Some mids. Sort of cut through. Okay, now with the kick, I'll do the same thing. I'll EQ the kick the same way. And with the kick, I can um, put all the velocities to 127 so that they'll all be even by going into the note and going into modify velocity and bring the velocity all the way up to 200. And what that will do is that'll maximize the velocities on all the kicks so they'll all be even. Okay, so now what we have here is hip hop classic um, Apache. My ears here, one thing that I actually missed was the pickup on the kick that goes along with the snare roll. So I'm going to add that in real quick and then I'll be done with it. snare 
of course, that goes along with the uh, pickup. So it'll be zappa da pa da. So I'll put an overdub. Okay, there you have it. Uh, Apache, the intro. All right, so thanks for listening. Peace.